That one there is a fact. Even me, he speaks to me anyhow sometimes. Mm. Yeah. But of course, it's my brother. When you have a house, your brother is, you take it as brotherly jokes. So. Mm -hmm. But generally, I mean, I've heard that a lot of people say, oh, Kwame, you need to say this, like this. But there's also something I like about him. He's, he doesn't sugarcoat. He says things as it is. And sometimes, human, human dear, if you are there, mm -hmm. when a thing is A, is A. If it's B, it's, it's B. B. But I mean, of course, sometimes you need to know who you're speaking to and all that. But yeah, if there was anything, anything, anything I could change about Kwame. I wouldn't even say I want to change it because I feel like I like that about him. You like but that? His honesty. Change, yeah, if I like to change it, it would be that. <laughs> but I mean, your brothers, have you, have you had that one-on-one -on -one talk? He actually understands me more than the people out there because he's quite close to me. And so he has every right to, I mean, whatever we keep in our basket or in our cupboard, he come to say it in the public like this is what Kwame does. And, and Kitty actually tends to come out and, and make people think like he's the good one, he's, he's the one that is always doing the good thing and he's the one that is not chasing the girls, he's the one who's not getting people pregnant, he's the one that, and it's always Kwame, and Kwame doesn't talk for well, Kwame. By the end of the day, we're still here, he's a big brother, I admire him so much. I like the fact that he shared his opinion about me, but he's a good one, I mean, he should, he should, he should keep being the good one. And, I'll focus on the good work. Yeah.